Now, what is a feral pest? I'm sure you'd think of rabbits, foxes, perhaps pigs. I would have put deer in that category, but according to my next guest, deer are not actually feral pests. And uh, he actually says that the state government is in some ways protecting them as a hunting resource. It's Jerry Buckingham, the uh, Greens MLC, and he joins us now here at ABC. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Nick. What an interesting fact you've uh, put before me this morning. How is the government protecting the deer? Well, they are not declaring them a pest species, and there's a significant distinction between uh, what's called a, a, a feral animal and a pest species, because if you declare under the legislation an animal a pest species, you are then required to undertake a whole range of action to control the spread and the populations of those animals. So in actual fact, it, it's a recognition that the animal uh, is a threat, it needs control, and ultimately it's going to need the resources of the state to bring that uh, animal under control because it's been deemed a pest. Were they ever a pest species, or this would just be the next step in, uh, in, uh, in controlling them? No, they haven't been. Uh, I was very surprised when I came to the New South Wales Parliament, I live in rural New South Wales, to discover that fox uh, and deer were not declared pest species like rabbits and pigs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have big problems with the, both those species across New South Wales. So I campaigned to have fox declared a pest. That happened uh, with the Minister la last year and I congratulated her for that. Now we want to see the same action taken with deer because these animals are a risk to agricultural productivity. They provide um, a lot of competition for grazing. They've got a capacity to breed up into large numbers very quickly. They can carry diseases that can affect populations of domesticated deer other and other animals, so they're a biosecurity risk. But uh, most importantly, they can spread through our, uh, our public land, state forests and national parks as people in the Illawarra would know, that they're spreading through the National Park. Oh, look, it would be not just the National Park, but the whole of the escarpment. Uh, there would be plenty of people in Illawarra that know about close encounters with deer, not just in the backyard, in the garden, but on the road. Absolutely, and this is one of the key things, that they become a, a significant risk in terms of traffic movement and the like. Uh, hitting a deer at, um, at high speed and having one come through your windscreen uh, can can lead to fatalities. Okay, tell me what you say happened back in 2012 to make deer almost a special case. Well, the Shooters and Fishers Party really had the whip hand of government with the balance of power in the upper house. They were all about creating hunting opportunities. What they wanted to do was protect the populations of the deer, manage the population, so they had recreational hunting opportunities. They weren't upset to see the deer spreading. They were just saying, well, we'll manage the population as it spreads because then there's more deer for them to go out and hunt and uh, they can put their trophies up in their, uh, in their dens. Uh, but what we've, and what that led to was uh, an explosion in the population. Uh, and Barry O'Farrell really, uh, at that time, the Premier, um, facilitated that. We believe, uh, farmers believe, uh, the Greens believe that there has to be uh, a, a change in the attitude of government and to get serious about deer before they spread, because especially in our environment, uh, our sensitive environmental areas, they, they bring a lot of pressure where they force out the other species, the macropods, so the, the, the other um, mammals, they can force those out by their, just the, their, their movement, their grazing pressure and the like. So it's a serious issue. We want the government to get serious about it. Uh, and especially uh, people in the Illawarra would, as you said, would know that. Have you got the numbers or the political pressure to make any change in this direction? Well yes, I, well, yes, I think we do. The Greens are very effective at raising issues, campaigning on them. We did that with Fox. I wrote to the Minister. The, the, I, yeah, think I recall we, speaking to Katrina Hodgkinson about that some time. Do you, do you put that down to pressure that you and your colleagues in the Greens brought to bear? Absolutely. My colleague David Shoebridge and I have been campaigning on this for many years, me, Rhiannon, before, um, before us. And, and one of the key things was, at budget estimates last year, I asked the Minister directly, are fox and deer pest species? She said no. I was, uh, and, and I said, well, should they be? She said she'd look into it. It and staggered so, me at the time, and I said that to the Minister, that the fox was not technically a pest species. Absolutely, and that was all about creating hunting opportunities for recreational hunters. 
Now that's got to stop. The fox absolutely denude our environment of our birds and small mammals. Deer have got a capacity to spread and push out some of our macropods, our wallabies, uh, and all the other things that um, we want to see in a, in, a, in a healthy environment. So the government should get serious about it. The Greens are serious about practical natural resource management and putting money into this so that there's management plans to control these animals in state forests in, um, in land controlled by national parks. That way we'll see um, uh, uh, an effort brought to bear to, to... I don't think we'll ever eradicate deer completely, but we can certainly stop them spreading and uh, we can certainly uh, limit the impact they do. All right, uh, Jeremy Buckingham, good to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Greens, MLC, Jeremy Buckingham with us at 97.3 ABC. Illawarra. John's on the line now. Good day, mate. Hello. Hi, John. What's on your mind? Mate, I live up in Glorious Mossvale. Yep. And to give an example, I was heading south, I've just come on last winter, and you know, I know you know the area, the 50k zone as you're heading south, you haven't even hit the 100 yet, there's a little bit of a dog leg, and as I come over the hill there at about quarter past six in the morning, here was a big stag with three does, right there. Wow. Well, probably thank God you're going 50k's. Yeah. And Instead of 100. I've got a, I've got a friend that's got a property all the rest near the Southern Forest exits onto the freeway there, and he actually has hit, he averages two deer a year that he hits on his, on the road there. Two deer a year and about five grand worth of panel beating. Yeah, where, where they actually use his front gate to cross the road and then run up his driveway just as he's coming out. Well, you know, do you carry a rifle in the car with you? No, because I'm not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, all the best with it, John. Thanks for letting me know, mate. Yeah, just want to let you know because of the area they're covering. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's obviously not just Royal National Park escarpment, but they're heading into the into the Southern Highlands as well. Oh, mate, and um, I've done a bit of work here out amongst the pine forest there at Belangdale and Penrose. Yeah. For the state forest. And they're in Penrose as well. Mate, they're running around everywhere. When I was out there last winter, I was picking up some uh, illegally dumped asbestos because that's what I do. Yeah. And, um... Cleaning it up for them, and me and the ranger, uh, sorry, the ranger and I, <laughs> being correct, we actually saw a fully grown white deer. What, an albino one? Yes. Wow. And it's, there, there, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, it sounds like it, mate. Thank you, John. Okay. Happy, uh, safe driving, mate. You too. See you later, John. Uh, ran in with one at Mossvale. Uh, one of our uh, text correspondents says there are massive deer near my house in Farnborough Heights in our estate we nearly hit a huge stag it was terrifying so uh, any more of those give us a call one three hundred nine seven three three hundred or oh four six seven nine double two six